Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, and it's this month's thank you gift for, well, for everybody who came shopping with me in June. And I have got a couple of hundred here to show you. So I will, that's one set. I think that's about 40 in there. Um, I've got a couple more boxes. Actually, I've got four more boxes. There's another 30. This was a really long project. It's, when I first designed it, I thought that won't take me long. The entire month, I only finished making them all two days before I put them in the post. No, four days before I put them in the post, sorry. And here's the last two boxes. And there's 20 in each of these. So yeah, a couple of hundred of them. Let me grab one of them back in because I want to show you the beautiful Tropical Chic suite. I absolutely love. The papers are divine. And uh, they, oh, I just love it. And it's so on trend everywhere I'm going at the moment. I'm seeing these great big leaves everywhere, absolutely everywhere. So let me show you what they look like. So I've got a couple of different ribbons on them. I've got two colours for the, my die cut shape. So I've got shaded spruce and granny apple green. And they go one way round or the other. So I've got the more detailed one in the shaded spruce there but then I've got it in uh, the granny apple green there. I've got two colours of the ribbon so I've got the grey granite and the granny apple green and then when you mix it up and I've got my little embellishments on there as well they look so different. I'm trying to find all the different varieties. There's so many different ones. Um, oh, I've got that one out. Have I got one of those? Probably. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. And they just look, in my opinion, fantastic. Now, what's inside though? Ha <laughs> ha. Let me scooch those very carefully because I've got to pack them. Now that I'm filming them, I can now pack them. I'll leave that one out. Inside are. Either a little bag of randoms or some jelly tops. Which, for those of you overseas, they're just amazing. These are like this little fruity gum sweets with sugar all over them. You can just see it on there. And these are mini randoms. So there's some gummies and there's some sort of milky treats. Just lovely. Amazing. And it uses a piece of paper that is six by six. So I didn't have to cut all my card stock down. I've lost my envelope punch board. Did I just get that out? No, I put it away. There it is. I thought I'd got it out, but actually I went and put it away. So yeah, six by six. So I went through four packets of this. There's 48 sheets per pack. And I don't know which pattern to go for. Oh, I don't know. You're probably all telling me on screen, aren't you? And I'm going blindly through that one, I think. Yeah, that one. Okay, so six by six inches. And we, it's, we're making an envelope, we're not making a box. So the first punch and score line is at two and three quarters, which is seven centimeters. Now you've got inches across the top in white, and then the metric centimeters is um, embossed into here underneath. So one and three quarter inches, seven centimeters punch score and then just as though you were making an envelope you just use your scored line line it up to your score guide and then keep punching and scoring now i can't see this at all there it is punch and score and just keep going all the way around and i did this what i think this took me I think to do this was about an hour and a half to do all of those. So I literally punched and scored everything first. And then you come along and don't burnish when you're folding over. Then I made all of the envelopes and I had them all sat to one side. And then another night I put all of the sweets inside and sealed it all up. Um, and then the final evening, I oh, and actually there was another night when I stamped. I'm gluing this part, the larger one, to the smaller one. I did all of the stamping on another occasion, actually, completely separate. Um, I slide in there. 
wrap it round. Yes, I did the stamping another night, but the final bit, I had to kind of do it all together. So I had to put the these parts behind there and attach that and then finish it off. So I'm going to have my grey granite on this one. And it required, I think, to do all of these, I needed five rolls, five rolls of ribbon to make all of them. Something like that, or maybe four, I think it was, because I had, I chose one in grey granite and then two in granny apple green, ran out of the granny apple green and had to use another one that I had for my own purposes. I buy specifically in to make my customer gifts and ran out and I always have my own and that's all I've got left <laughs> my own one so it was four and I started on my grey granite as well right so stamping so we've got the tropical chic and it has a matching stamp a matching framelits which I've lost I have lost bear with me a second um, I will really find them it would help if I knew what they were called tropical thinlets I've probably carefully you see Filming in the sunshine and me is never, there they are, they're right out ready waiting for me. Um, this comes as a bundle, which is brilliant, and I probably wouldn't recommend not having it as a bundle. You need it as a bundle. Um, so, yeah, that's to me is quite important. Okay, two inch circle, so I punched out all of my circles first and then stamped afterwards. Oh dear, that didn't sound healthy, did it? Oh, no, I've just popped that bit off. Mm. Okay, this was not meant to be a fix-it video, but apparently it's going to be. No, I'm going to break my nails, so I'll have to sort that out later. Oops. You are the greatest, because you know what? Everybody who shops with me is the greatest. At least in my opinion. Of course they are. So you are the greatest. Yeah, I punched all of my circles out first and stamped on them. And I that meant that I knew I had exactly the right number and that my stamping would fit. So that's Shaded Spruce, Blushing Bride, and I'm going for this very exotic flower that I have no idea what it's called because, you know, I'm not floral. I don't know the names of flowers, couldn't tell you what's in my garden. I planted them, don't know what they are. Blushing Bride, because that's the pink that goes with it, and some of them, some of them I did the stamping where I got the words a little bit high up so it didn't fit an extra one. But some of them I had it low enough down that it was okay. And you will see that this Blushing Bride will fade. It's darker than this one at the moment, but it will fade down, which is what we wanted to do. Probably not by the time I finished filming this. Um, but I can do my die cutting and hope that it does. And when I was die cutting, again, so that I could just batter out a couple of hundred in one go without thinking about it, I actually worked out exactly what size I needed to fit my shapes. And I think it was something like a three by, th yeah, I think it was maybe two and a half inches. And so I cut up 200 squares <laughs> in the colours, 100 of each. And then I just ran it through the big shot and I just blindly cranked it through. So... Just get a big shot here. And I've got my magnetic platform, and we'll have one of those. One in there, and then plate on the top. So that was magnetic platform, cutting plate, then cardstock, then shapes and plate on the top. Never ever ever cut straight into your magnetic platform. I actually haven't, but I know folk who have. I'm not sure that cut through perfectly, so let me run it through again. Has now. Perfect. Yeah, I've never cut straight into my magnetic platform, but, but friends of mine <laughs> tell me they have. Never a good idea. Right. Okay. 
Right, let's paint the piercer to paint this through. There's one of those and be very delicate, very careful with this one. And so this was the stage where I thought, hmm, okay, I can't work in stages, I need to do it all in one go. So cover the back, absolutely cover and smother it in glue. And this shape, in order for me to get it to fit on, off to one side, and then the same with there, so it's just peeping behind. And there's still, I don't know if I can tip it in the light so it shimmers. Yeah, that's not going to happen. There's enough glue all over this part that it's going to stick down really, really well on there. And then two shapes. And actually to do this, I worked in tens because you get 20 in a pot, 10 of each. So how I worked was I did 10 of these at a time. So I prepped them all up and then I stuck all of these on here and I had them all the way round and then just came along and just went, yep, one of them, one of them. But yeah, it was a much, much longer project than I'd anticipated. Um, I mean, it will take me all month to do thank you cards and gifts anyway. This just took me far more evenings than I was expecting it to, but you know what, so worth it. And I really hope everybody who's got one of these, or if you're in um, one of our four European countries outside the UK, they're on their way, but just yummy, yummy, yummy. And so pretty and so sweet. And in the next couple of days, you'll see the thank you cards I made. So anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.